Hola, hola. So I hear you have some questions about moisturizers. So today we're going to break down from a cosmetic chemist what goes into a moisturizer, moisturizing ingredients, and how to choose the best moisturizer for your skin type. So let's get into it. You can see I have three products in front of me and that's perfect because we're talking about three categories of ingredients. The three main categories that go into a moisturizer are humectants, emollients, and occlusives. And starting with humectants, those are ingredients that they hydrate. They attract water, they grab onto water, and they hold that water in the topmost layer of the skin to keep your skin hydrated. You see humectants pretty much right on top of the ingredients list, and those are things like glycerin, hyaluronic acid, or como pueden ver, I have honey right here. Honey is an amazing natural humectant, but to talk about humectants, we're gonna be highlighting the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I love this for oily skin because as you can see, it is a super lightweight gel cream texture. You work that into the skin and it just melts in right away. This is really special because it features multi-molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, and those are each going to penetrate into the skin to help keep your skin hydrated. But it also features polyglutamic acid, which works perfectly in synergy with hyaluronic acid to really keep your skin hydrated, juicy, hydratada, plump. So now the next category is emollients. And this is an ingredient category you're gonna see in the form of things like oils, butters, even some silicones. And as you can see, I have olive oil here and getting just a little bit. We know oils, they help to essentially lubricate. And that's what emollients do to the skin. They smooth down that topmost layer of the skin. You can see it's shiny, brilla un poquito. You can also feel that slip, which for some things feels really nice. And it helps especially with dry skin because as you smooth down that topmost layer of the skin, you're also to an extent reducing the amount of water lost from the skin. I mean, olive oil, you actually will see in some products, AKA Miss JLo Beauty, but we're also highlighting today the Lapis Oil from Herbivore. This is a great oil for oily, acne-prone skin. It features some more lightweight oils. With that, it's going to sit nice and lightweight on the skin, and that's something to highlight about emollients as well. They're not all going to be very rich, very heavy. Some are more lightweight. You see things like jojoba oil or squalane as really good examples of that. One thing to highlight is that oils do not hydrate. That is what humectants do. Oils, to an extent, can help moisturize, but we really love to see oils more so as a component of a full moisturizer. Y ahora, la última categoría. So we're getting into what really makes moisturizer special. We talked about humectants, we talked about emollients. Let's get into occlusives. So this is saran wrap. Now, it's not literally a layer of saran wrap on your skin. It's still gonna be able to breathe and it's not impermeable. But basically, it's just going to much more substantially reduce the amount of water loss to the skin. We call that trans-epidermal water loss, AKA tool. And there's actually, within your skin, natural versions of this. We see that in the form of ceramides, cholesterols, and fatty acids. Acids. That being said, you can also find those in moisturizers and they are great at supporting the skin's natural moisturization. A good example of that is the Ceramide and Cream from Dr. Jart. In this, you have a few different types of ceramides. And again, ceramides found naturally in the skin, but they just act as a really good occlusive to reduce the amount of water loss. But you also have things like fatty acids and cholesterol as well. And with this, this is a really good option if you have dry skin, more compromised skin. We see compromised skin from things like over exfoliating, sunburns, also which is a natural part of having dry skin. This is going to help when layered over your hydrating products. Just lock that in more and really keep your skin nice, moisturized, and hydrated. So now let's bring it back. How do you choose the best moisturizer for your skin types? What I always say is, when it comes to oily skin, like el grasa, I love to see more humectant rich with some lightweight occlusives, water creams, your best bet. For dry skin, you wanna see those rich occlusives and you wanna see those ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids. Ceramide and cream, really good option for that to really keep that skin moisturized, hidratada. And then oils. To me, oils are a really good supplement for your moisturizing routine if you really want to level up your moisturization. But if you wanna shop any of my moisturizing favorites, be sure to shop the shelf below.